Hi Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys are doing well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Aries signs for the first half of September. Aries, kindly check the description box down below for more information about this video. And thank you so, so much for all your support. I really hope that this resonates for most of you guys and gives you clarity and sense of enlightenment, okay? Messages, please, Spirit, for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, first half of September. What do they need to know at this time, please, Spirit? Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, first half of September. So let's cut the deck and see what we have for you, my dear. First card is Solitude. Okay. Second card is Goblins. And last card is Balancing Act. First few days of September, Aries, you are being encouraged to do some shadow work here. Goblins is a representation of your shadow side, your shadow self. Qualities that... Usually arises when we feel threatened, we feel insecure, we feel like we're alone in a situation. So this kind of insecurity and fears usually come up to make you question your faith here is what I'm getting. And so this must be confronted and overcome. Um, this starts by, of course, looking into any wound from the past that may have caused this or a repetitive event in your life that's triggering your shadow side your shadow self but balancing act everything is all about balance yin and yang light and shadow so you're being encouraged to find harmony find balance do not let your shadow side overtake the light okay of course one cannot exist without the other right it's all about universal balance so what i'm getting here is that you have the task right now not to let the shadow side overtake your light because with solitude over here i'm getting this energy that you guys definitely are protective of yourself not tr not easily trusting anyone right now you may consciously decide to be by your own because you are aware that there's a lot of uh external circumstance that can easily that can easily take your faith away from you or make you feel discouraged is what i'm getting here okay and it's good that you guys think that way because it allows you to be very discerning but at the same time aries this solitude card has its downside because not every everybody out there or every situation that you may encounter um always has the bad intention right um the key here is to stay balanced and see the difference between people's intentions because even though the act might not seem right making you make a decision to withdraw or isolate but the intention also matters and this is kind of like um, your ability now to find out people's intentions before making assumptions that people are up to no good i don't know i'm getting that idea don't over assume things aries okay if this is not your energy someone could be feeling this way that's the reason why they're not able to um, open up for love, for, for new experiences, or for relationship. This person thinks that he or she should be alone or in solitude because it's safe, because it's secure. And putting themselves out there might be a risk of being hurt. But at the same time, that itself can also be a sense of imprisonment for all the fears to come creeping in it's only a matter of time so with balancing act it's not so much about being in that environment okay it's the ability to know yourself really your ability to balance uh within you the, the dark and light side i know this is sounding all too cryptic aries but these are the messages that i'm getting right now and so this is essential because this is what makes you you and so any imbalance this could also affect you on the outside okay and it's already showing here because for some of you, you're choosing not to be um, around friends and family for now. There's this kind of 
building walls up okay and and it's a fear base mentality is what i'm getting here and once you're able to overcome any goblin your shadow side but then again roles can be reversed here it could be that it's someone else's shadow side that you're trying to avoid you're trying to like protect yourself from people or influences that can easily take your faith okay so what i'm getting here of yourself and affect you on the inside so like i said no matter what other people try to do external circumstances try to affect you if you're strong on the inside and you know where you stand balance this will not bring you down okay this will not bring you down or affect you so let's see what that is all about i'm using now the chakra wisdom oracle cards spirit please clarify this solitude card what is this solitude all about so release okay so i'm getting here that some of you need to release this isolation or in solitude because yes it has its upside but it also has its downside like you said like that man in the picture he's by himself but he's not able to release still his emotions those low vibrational energies feelings of doubts or anger or maybe some disappointment uh, because he's too much in solitude okay but the moment that this person releases those feelings and come into the light be around people again start healing right because people bring healing not everyone brings you negative energies aries some people do bring in healing okay so like i said maybe this is a time to break free from that solitude and reach out reach out maybe your fears are not letting you reach out but that's why with balancing act you have to be aligned on the inside first aries why is this goblin energy here please spirit clarify the goblin energy perseverance yeah because if you don't release this uh it's the feeling of wanting to give up before things can even start is what i'm getting here someone can also feel as though no matter what they do they're just not good enough or no matter what they try things are not going to even manifest and again the goblin has the ability to creep in in the most critical points of our lives you may not know areas that you're closer to your goal than you think because that's that's the definition of this card perseverance right the success that you've been wanting the things that you want to manifest are, are even closer now and so this is kind of like the last push that you need okay endure persevere and don't give up on your hopes and your dreams you're definitely closer so giving up now everything that you've built so far would be coming to just you know to nothing to a waste and it would be a shame because perhaps this is only a test of your faith here that things will work out clarify this balancing act please spirit mysticism yeah trust in the unknown but also there's external circumstances at play here and some are not good some are truly testing your faith is what i'm getting here like dark energy and forces people maybe people shadow side that's why you feel like this woman in the picture you feel like no one can understand you're you're in solitude again or like deep down you know that you cannot open up to anyone at this time or open yourself for anything and you would rather be alone because no one truly understands Additional messages please spirit what is this release card over here what is aries releasing at this time please perhaps for some of you someone ghosted you aries this is also what i'm getting here and you've been trying to make it work but this person is is um yeah being pushed farther and farther away facade okay so what i'm getting here is that maybe deep down even though you are with friends and family on the outside like physically uh you guys are just maybe putting on up on your putting up a wall okay like i said thick wall uh because you're extra cautious but be careful if it turns out to be over an extreme borderline paranoia you know 
and and this has a mental effect on you guys so i hope that that's not the case again if this is not your energy then someone who could be far away from you but in in reality couldn't really release you they they are doing a good job of putting up a wall a facade but deep down okay they're hurting on the inside they're still in pain okay whoever this is in isolation in solitude they're still on the path of healing totally from what has happened what is this perseverance card here please for aries what is this perseverance card for aries bittersweet so it's all about letting go or moving forward the choice is yours but of course every time you move forward there must be some sacrifice okay it's your ability to trust in your goals ability to trust that you can overcome your fears overcome your doubts and if you're willing to cross and and go forward on on that next stage of your life keep pushing through the confusion there's going to be a sweet reward at the end of the day aries okay your hard work will definitely pay off hard work pays off so also get here abundance impasse and guilt so for some of you right you could be worried about your finances you feel as though you're being blocked from doing doing more okay you're you feel like you're being blocked doing more also someone around you feels guilty aries i don't think that this is your energy someone that may have been away from you that's why they're choosing to be away from you because they still feel this feelings of guilt okay but they're healing that now is what i'm getting here they're healing that now so for some of you your focus is all about the pentacle as well okay a lot of uh work first few days of september and you're building abundance here you're protecting your resources but be careful if you guys are too much isolated because of work and you're not able to do other aspects of your life that are equally important such as spending time for family and friends for meditation for exercise um, you know that you must find that sweet balance so that you can do everything that is needed okay to avoid the risk of being burnt out is what i'm getting here so those are all general messages my dear aries now let's get more specific ones i'm going to put this on the side and now i'm using the tarot specific messages please for the sign of aries sun moon and rising first half of september please spirit additional messages for the sign of aries sun moon and rising first half of september please so there could be that energy of moving forward and focusing in on your work your job your career and you have helping hands this is all about collaboration working with others and that is you know that is one of the upside of being able to collaborate with others work with others work is just going to get a lot easier rather than doing all things on your own for some of you you could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn who's making an offer this could be related to your career or this could be someone in your life who seems to be approaching you with some form of offer okay a stable offer a friendship or maybe a, um, a love relationship heart of the matter is the king of coins yeah earth sign again taurus virgo capricorn so this earth sign seems to be very dedicated to pursue you but what's blocking this is the ten of wands there's feelings of exhaustion aries for some of you you may be feeling worn out burnt out like you said balance is needed here it could be a situation where you're putting all the effort in and doing all the effort in okay because with the wands like you you guys are fire signs so if you're passionate about a project or a relationship you guys tend to go all out and as a result ten of wands you may not have seen that you might have overstretched yourself in this situation so put attention to your health right now don't keep forcing yourselves to to keep working and working and working here 
um, because it might be affecting your health. So with the star card over here, right, Aries, learn to take a break from all of that. It's all about balance here. There's a reason why you must take that vacation or break so you can recharge your batteries. In the past is the death card. Um, I'm getting this energy of uh, complete and drastic change for some of you. This is not just a small change. It's a big change, okay? Uh, could be for some of you change for your work, changing your career path, changing locations, or ending a relationship. That could also be the case. Um, but what you're thinking right now is to be balanced. Again, that balance card, balancing act. Six of Pentacles. Kind of like the mini version of the justice card right give and take dynamics you're making sure that anything and anyone that is in your life right now you're checking if you are actually receiving what it is that you're putting out because there's a pending um, tendency to do things all at once aries what's necessary right now is to find balance in everything okay What's coming in the near future is the Ten of Cups. I love this energy. So, an earth sign, okay? An earth sign is, is willing to make an extra effort to make this work. And I think that in time, this person will try to meet you in the middle. Okay, we'll, we'll return the same kind of efforts. But I think that you guys probably are in, on a break right now, right? Because you have just exhausted yourself too much so whoever this earth sign is he or she's going to realize that sooner or later family also is one of your priorities here aries for some of you you could be doing all this hard work for family if it's related to your career maybe family members are um dependent on you because the six of pentacles can also mean that you're giving towards others you're supporting others financially and so this can also be draining even though you love your family and friends oftentimes it can only do so much so be careful if you're carrying too much of the load learn to share that load aries okay so how you're feeling right now is the king of swords there's a certain sense of like gloominess or sadness or just melancholy that i'm getting from the king of swords but also it's kind of like you are um, just doing what is expected of you right now Okay, you're still making sure that you're holding your, your responsibilities and you're doing your part here. But also, like, in the environment is the Ace of Swords. Also, what I'm getting here is that you um, are maybe using that sword to cut through any feelings of confusion. Or you could be shutting your emotions for now because it's kind of like the energy of doing what is needed and putting your emotions on the side, okay? Okay. That is the king of swords you're handling this situation in a very logical way because once your emotions are attached i think that you guys know you have a tendency to do everything all at once for people that you care about in the environment is the ace of swords truth is going to come out communication also like someone definitely wants to communicate with you or this could be a time where you must ignite communication or communicate your feelings really clear here to this earth sign hopes and fears is the full card so for some of you this could be wanting to be on it you know wanting to experience a whole new journey a whole new path because this seems to be very very tiring and i think that with the ten of wands ten is all about ending a cycle to starting over again starting something new further confirmed by the ten of cups over here ten of wands and ten of cups but don't worry, Aries, because what's coming in the near future is that feeling of uh, finally being free from all the burden, okay? Packing your bags, leaving any situation behind that's no longer uh, doing you guys any good. Or maybe this is you finally doing your passion or, or pursuing your passion after a task well done. That's what I'm getting here. As the outcome card, wow, Aries, it's you, Queen of Wands. So, yeah, I see here that you could be connecting with a Scorpio, Aquarius, or an Earth sign. I'm seeing a lot of sign, really, an air sign as well. But you as the outcome card means that you will stand strong, Aries, and you will confront any obstacle that comes your way. You will still, you will still come out as uh, victorious. 
and so you will handle this the best way that you know which is not avoiding anything at all but you know head on queen of wands and you're looking for a way for things to come on a favorable outcome for everyone involved is what i'm getting here okay and so also like getting back to yourself means that you have learned a lot and so it may have took you to a decision to cut anything that uh, is causing you confusion ace of swords and king of swords also with the star card here in this period of healing you guys are definitely realizing a lot there's a lot of uh, realizations downloads coming through to you from your guides clearing a lot of the confusion in the past and though and this is kind of like your ability to think straight and plan ahead approach this in a logical manner so that the outcome will be favorable now let's clarify this card for you aries why is the king of coins here please four of swords so in solitude maybe this earth sign this king of coins is the one not communicating with you at this time because like i said there's something about this earth sign they're in solitude they're not ready or they seem to be putting on a wall maybe they're turning into their career as a way to avoid you or a way not to make any decisions for now uh, a lot of cards came out i also have here knight of cups so and nine of wands yeah putting walls up um, earlier i said you could be the one putting your wall up but as it turns out it could be this person right with the chariot card there's going to be movement after all this person is going to make a move sooner or later but it's going to take them a while because it seems as though right now nothing is coming through um they're trying to like rest their mind off they're not thinking of anything at the moment or not taking action at all so why is this ten of wands here ten of pentacles so this person does recognize um that they do want the happy ever after with you aries if this is love related but it also comes with this heavy burden on their shoulder or you could be feeling this way too like you both respect each other enough not to force anything right now if it's too much to ask from each other because like i said give and take right the person is not able to give you what he himself does not have right now or she doesn't have right now so maybe this person is trying his or her best but as at, at the moment couldn't give you what it is that maybe you're hoping for here ten of pentacles family home stability okay happy ever after story because they seem to be very exhausted as well to whatever it is that they're going through right now they're not taking action maybe this is you feeling this way too aries like you're starting to doubt should you carry on in this situation because it's too much for you to handle you're not able to give it right now to this person who seems to be also giving you little to no effort okay little to no effort page of coins so like i said this earth sign could be approaching you again pretty soon with an offer but there's the energy here of needing to give it some space before making action or ma making any hasty action yeah because this three of swords someone still feels heartbroken someone could be rushing into making a decision but it's going to be uh, something that they would regret if they don't take the time to heal their heart okay so in the past there could have been some falling out or separation that that could have been the bittersweet feeling okay bittersweet feeling but there's definitely some feelings of guilt here like this earth sign definitely feels guilty over something here aries that they've done towards you maybe they're the one who asked for this relationship to um to be put on a halt for a while or like they were the one who have ghosted you maybe or withdraw from the communication cut communication it could also be this air sign who stopped talking to you but there has been a shocking ending is what i'm getting here and with the nine of swords over here um this could have had some mental effects on both people both sides but a truth came out though it wasn't just a truth that you would have expected is what i'm getting here because as it turns out 
it was kind of like a nightmare a nightmare that happened a falling out that you did not expect you see coming but with the tower card this is you know universe making a way to free you from anything that is not true authentic any situation that it that that could be built from ego or pride so that you can see things clearer now knight of swords so one of you in this connection right or someone in your environment could still be feeling a little bit upset but does desire to communicate but it's kind of like the energy of he or she's not going to make a move unless you do kind of energy but this person definitely feels uh, like you are someone they couldn't take their mind off or you could be not taking your mind off from this person as well okay deep down even though there's unresolved feelings there's still that feeling of being happy whenever you think about each other queen of cups so i think that you're going to be emotionally happy that's what's coming in the near future for this one you're going to open your cup you're going to share your cup the queen of cups can also mean that your psychic abilities is going to increase but queen of cups and ten of cups this means like opening yourself up for love no longer in isolation here this is all about uh, letting people in. This could be could also be for the other person if he or she is the one being away from now and afraid to open up. So this is all about being selfless. The ability to love once again and not let fear hold you back from experiencing love. Okay? Yeah, see? Solitude. This earth sign or air sign could be the one who's in hermit mode right now remember we have the solitude card over here because this person is not able to release what happened um feelings of lacking sleep thinking about you day and night and not having the peace of mind right now this is what's causing this person to to be away from you but best believe there's feelings of guilt also okay so it could be the other way around maybe you're the one feeling guilty aries but this person that's away from you right now is thinking about you finding answers, healing himself or herself. Or uh, you might be the one choosing to be away from now because you want to cut what happened in the past to find some inner peace. But this person absolutely feels guilty about what they've done. Okay? That's why there's no healing. But in the environment is the world card. You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn who wishes to communicate and clear things out. The world card can also mean that it's going to be an ending of a cycle, right? A permanent change is going to happen here, um, Aries. Things are going to come full circle here. Someone could also be away from you, like in a different country, different state. And so this person is coming back around and reigniting communication or starting communication once again. So expect some random phone call, text message, okay? Maybe this is all about closure. For some of you, it's closure someone needs to find the answers now so they can finally end this chapter okay or end the burden so hopes and fears is five of pentacles for some of you you're concerned about the money but you know this is only a temporary situation right aries help is going to be on the way soon enough new windows of opportunity will open for you guys and help is also also closer than you think if this is related to money there could also be opportunities to travel so be on the lookout for that right uh you're gonna travel for work and maybe that is what what's gonna start your expansion this is gonna be the payoff for all the hard work that you've been putting in so it does require some faith and patience but best believe it's gonna happen okay world card means assured success see what i mean wish fulfillment card so whatever you guys are feeling right now feeling lack or not getting um the reward of all your hard work best believe that there's a divine timing you will receive the blessings and the abundance and the bounty okay nine of cups getting your wish fulfilled and you will see the light at the end of the tunnel okay you will see the light at the end of the tunnel why is the queen of wands here please spirit so the temperance card yeah healing is needed right now like that is overly emphasized in your reading here aries because this is where it all starts this is all where it all starts you know uh five yeah because someone is still crying over spilled milk and someone is not able to fully move forward is what i'm getting here too okay there's definitely feelings of guilt and sadness and remorse disappointment but yeah 
they're trying to move away or walk away right now you could be the one thinking of walking away from all of that Aries um, I'm also getting here that it's bittersweet but it's gonna free you and free the other person and in this path must have must have been blocked because you guys are definitely divinely protected and if you insist on going on that path you may not know that you could fall on someone's shadow side or a cycle that keeps repeating itself is what I'm getting here too so hold your held up, head up high, my dear Aries. There's going to be an ending of a cycle. This is all about the last push releasing what's been holding you guys back or the other person, okay? Because roles can be reversed here. So that is your reading, my dear Aries. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope that this resonates for most of you guys. Be on the lookout for next week's upload. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.